All right. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, my name is Anthony Smoke. I'm a career BI practitioner and data enthusiast. And these are my analyses and recommendations for Dognition.com. It's the final deliverable in the data visualization and communication with uh, Tableau course offered by Duke and uh, Coursera. So I have a website, AnthonySmoke.com. Uh, and I, I'm on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. If you have any questions or just want to uh, converse about the uh, the class in general, but just imagine if you would, if you were to start a web-based business and it wasn't enough where you just needed subscribers, you got their money, and uh, you know that was it. Uh, you needed to get some data from these users. You needed them to complete a series of tests from which uh, you derive valuable data. And so this is the problem that's dogging, uh, pun intended, uh, dognition. So if I were to bring up my uh, business process uh, change recommendations for dognition, I'd want them to increase their advertising and social media outreach to targeted cities. And I've got five different analyses uh, that I'll get into. It may look like more, but they're really just uh, filtered uh, in different ways. Uh, number two, I want them, I want targeted reminders to users at specific tests where engagement drops the most. I want to explore gamification means to keep those users engaged so that they move through all 20 tests. And, uh, you know, I want to implement some sort of achievement, uh, badges, some sort of point system to keep our subscribers engaged. Maybe you get a master trainer badge after your first 20 tests and, you know, so on and so forth uh, from there. And then finally, I want to expand the free start user program. If we take a look at the uh, the median number of tests completed by free start users is higher uh, than paying subscribers. That's going to get us to our smart goal where we increase the median number of tests completed by subscriber uh, by 10% over the next six months. So back to Tableau here. I'm going to move on to Dognition the website very quickly you can see that there's three tiers of uh, subscriptions one for there's an assessment for nineteen dollars a month a yearly for seventy nine and a monthly for that nineteen dollar sign up and nine dollars a month uh, so moving into the first analyses here uh, this is our dognition what I'm calling the dognition user locator so I want a combination of uh, a high number of tests completed and counts of dog IDs where the median total tests completed is above 11 because 11 is the median across all subscription types. So if we were to look here, we see Durham, Raleigh, Charlotte, Tampa, uh, Tucson, and also Rochester, very high uh, Rochester. North Carolina makes sense because that's, that's a state where dognition is based and so I want more users like the users in these locations so that's why I want to start here with some sort of targeted uh, social media campaign uh, advertisements get get the word out about Dognition because I want my users to behave like the users here and then if that is successful we want to move on to these cities these are right at 11 that's the median total tests uh, completed you're going to have a high count of dog IDs you're going to have a high count of total tests completed and this is what the footprint uh, looks like here uh, you've got cities like Atlanta where this recording is being made Austin Chicago so on and so forth and then we've got growth opportunity cities so these growth opportunity cities are cities that are below 11 they're below that median of 11 uh, they may have a high number of total tests completed but per user they're just not engaged so I want to target these cities I want these people to complete uh, more tests and I'm going to start in these cities. This is where I'm going to find those users that just aren't getting it done uh, for Dognition. If we were to look internationally, we can see that Canada by far has the most number of cities above this Mendoza line of 10, right? I want at least 10 dogs uh, in the city and I wanted a high median, right? So Canada, if we're looking to expand internationally, this is a good place to start. You've got London, Singapore, Oslo. There seems to be a high English uh, bent on our Dognition subscribers. So very similar to the uh, analysis that we put together earlier in the class. We're looking at that percent difference in tests by dog ID rank. Uh, the only difference is I put this on uh, a dual axes and I said, hey, let's look at the drop off here. Let's have that uh, below 
the zero percent uh, here. So you can see there's an 18, uh, almost 19 percent drop off at test five. It makes sense because once you get through the first four, uh, there may be a disincentive to continue. So this is an area where we want to target users. I'd say test five, test eight, test 12, and test 17. Uh, post assessment, you can see that big drop here at uh, test 21, you know, negative 80 percent because you get through the assessment phase uh, and then you know people say hey I don't want to I don't want to uh, to take any more tests so we're gonna, it's natural that we have that that big drop here but even if we were to uh, take out test uh, test 21 we can see in the post assessment phase there are still some areas where we can drive uh, uh, engagement at test uh, 21 obviously but at test 24 test 26 and test 32, I don't want to extrapolate uh, any more past here because we see there's a precipitous drop, but uh, there are definitely some opportunities to increase engagement here in, uh, in these areas. So moving on here, just taking a look at the median number of tests completed by domestic uh, subscribers. You can see that the non-free start uh, user, uh, that's where the, 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 uh, the highest number of, uh, of users are 94,000 and 2,700 here in our free start user bucket. But you can see across both the median is 11, and that's driven mostly by our non free start users. Our free start users are completing more tests at 14. So there's a three test uh, spread here. If we were to break this down by subscription type, we can see in the assessment area the median number of tests completed is nine. Uh, that is much less than our 14 completed by free start users in the assessment bucket. Uh, not as many users, but you know, on a on a per user basis, uh, we've got a spread here. We're even below the median across everyone. So this is a target area. This is a growth opportunity area uh, that we want to uh, to target. And so lastly, I want to look at this drop here. So if you look at our free start users here analysis. Um, you can see, obviously, we start off at 100%, and then at test 20, we're at 53, and we drop down to 17. Compare that to the non-free start user. We're starting at 100 again, right? Then by the time we get to test 20, we're down to 26.92%, and at 21, we're down to 8.58% of uh, users left. So we can say that our free start users are completing more tests than our non free start users. So we want to expand that program. So back to our recommendations, uh, if we could, we want to increase that advertising and social media outreach to our targeted cities, have those targeted reminders to users at specific tests uh, where that engagement is dropping, explore our game, gamification means, expand the free start user program. That's going to get us to our SMART goal where we increase our median tests by subscriber by 10% over the next six months. So Thank you for listening. My name is uh, Anthony Smoke, and uh, happy uh, tableauing.